Welcome to our Enhanced Science 9 Force, Motion, and Energy class. Another term is related to momentum. The following examples will give us clues on what's the word. Have you experienced being trapped in a traffic jam due to vehicular accidents like in these pictures? Have you watched a football game and noticed players pushing one another? In earth science, plate tectonics theory states that lithospheric plates move, and these movements shape the earth. When two plates move towards each other, they may buckle up and produce mountains. This animation shows how molecules behave when they hit each other. Some bounce off and some combine with another molecule. Do you know how the moon was formed? What is most likely accepted today is the giant impact theory. It proposes that the moon formed during a collision between the Earth and another small planet, about the size of Mars. The debris from this impact collected in an orbit around the Earth to form a moon. Were you able to think of the word related to momentum while viewing the given examples? I hope you got the correct answer. And this word is... Collision. To understand collision, let us do learning task 3.A. The objectives of this activity are Observe what happens when two objects collide Describe change in momentum before and after collision And differentiate elastic collision from inelastic collision You will be doing a virtual laboratory for this activity to do a virtual laboratory on collision, go to this website. Since flash seams are no longer supported in modern browsers, you can click back to HTML5 version. Then click play. you will be directed to the FET interactive simulations. Wait until the laboratory is loaded. It may take quite some time since the internet connection is not that reliable or not that fast. Then click Intro. Let us have the first setup as our example. In the first setup, ball 1 and ball 2 have equal masses. So we need to change the mass of ball 1 and ball 2 so that they will have the same or similar masses. So you can do that by clicking this part and change the value. Click for ball 2 change the value to 1 so that they will have identical masses. Ball 1 is at rest. So we need to change the velocity value for ball 1. So in order to do that, click more data. Change the velocity of ball 1 to 0. Then ball 2 should be moving towards ball 1. So the negative sign indicates the direction of the velocity. So it is negative it is, if it is moving to the left and positive if it is moving to the right. To see the motion in detail, click slow. Observe the momentum before collision. Then click play. Observe what happens to ball 1 and ball 2. Look at the momentum after collision. Okay? Click stop. And then observe the data and observe the movement of the balls. For the inelastic setup, click inelastic. 
Okay? And then, you will only choose one dimension. Okay? And then, same as in the previous setup, ball 1 and ball 2 have equal masses, while ball 1 is at rest. So, click more data, change the velocity of x, of uh, velocity x of ball 1 to 0. Then, ball 2, negative 50. Look at the momentum before collision. Click slow. Press or click the play button. Okay, observe the momentum before and the momentum after. That is how we use the FET interactive simulations in doing activities related to collision. You are now ready to use this app in order to answer the learning task given in our lip. Enjoy! Be sure that you are through with learning task 3.a before proceeding to this part of the video. Now, let us check your answers. For setup 1, ball 1 and ball 2 have equal masses. Ball 1 is at rest while ball 2 moves towards ball 1. What was your observation before collision? Ball 2 moves towards ball 1. After collision, ball 1 that was initially at rest moves with a velocity same as ball 2, while ball 2 stops. You can now check your answers. Now let's proceed to setup 2. Ball 1 and ball 2 with equal masses and equal speed move towards each other. Before collision, ball 1 moves to the right, while ball 2 moves to the left. After collision, the two balls bounce from each other with the same speed in the opposite direction. Are your answers correct? Let's proceed to setup 3. Ball 1 and ball 2 have different masses, but with equal speeds move towards each other. Before collision, ball 1 moves to the right and ball 2 moves to the left. After collision, balls bounce from each other, but the ball with lesser mass moves with greater speed. Let's have setup 4. Ball 1 and ball 2 have equal masses. Ball 1 is at rest while ball 2 moves towards ball 1. Before collision, ball 2 moves towards ball 1. After collision, ball 2 sticks to ball 1 and moves in the direction of ball 2. Now, let's proceed to the next setup. Ball 1 and ball 2 with equal masses and equal speed move towards each other. Ball 1 moves to the right while ball 2 moves to the left. After collision, balls stop and stick to each other. Were you able to get the correct answer? Let's have the last setup. Ball 1 and ball 2 have different masses but with equal speeds that move towards each other. Before collision, ball 1 moves to the right and ball 2 moves to the left. After collision, balls stick together and move with lesser speed in the original direction of the larger mass. Were you able to answer all the questions correctly? Now let us answer the questions given in learning task 3.8. How is elastic collision similar and different from inelastic collision? In elastic collision, objects bounce off after collision. Momentum is conserved. While in inelastic collision, objects stack together after collision, causing physical deformation or damage. But still, momentum is conserved. Next question. Compare momentum before collision and momentum after collision. The momentum before and after collision are equal. 
How is momentum conserved in collisions? The momentum of object 1 is transferred to object 2, while the momentum of object 2 is transferred to object 1. That is why the momentum before collision is equal to the momentum after collision. Therefore, momentum is conserved. To summarize collisions, let's watch this video. Let us apply what we learned on collisions by going back to the previous examples given and identify the type of collision and how momentum is conserved. Going back on the examples of collision earlier, let us identify the type of collision demonstrated. You may pause this video and write your answer in your notebook. Number 1. In elastic collision. Number two. In elastic collision. Number three. In elastic collision. Number four. Elastic and inelastic collision. Number five. In elastic collision. Check your work and I hope you got a perfect score. In all examples, momentum is conserved because the momentum of object 1 is transferred to object 2 and the momentum of object 2 is transferred to object 1. So the momentum before collision is equivalent to the momentum after collision. Deformations and physical damage may be caused during inelastic collision due to the conversion of kinetic energy to heat. To end our session on collision, think about it. Conflict is like inelastic collision. When you crash into someone else's feelings, damage is done. Reminder, for more physics videos, you may visit my YouTube channel, Teacher Jackie Teach. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day.